Hi everybody, it's great to be online with y'all again today. If you remember last week, we were reading out of this book called Theology, Ancient Truths Ever New by Marty Makowski, which teaches us things about God and who he is. And sometimes we, we, can, we can learn about any of the things in this book in our Bible, but sometimes it's easier to take some big, big ideas and make them smaller so that they're easy to understand. So last week we talked about how God is three in one, how he's Father, Spirit, and the Son, and also how God always is, how he's always here now, and how he always was in the past, and how he always will be in the future. Today we're going to talk about two new things about God, and maybe three if we have time. All right, let's get started. So. Today we're going to talk about how God created everything out of nothing at all. Whoosh. What are these? They look like fingerprints, don't they? Well, they're supposed to be. Alright. Every created thing started the same way, with a design. A design is an idea of how to make something. A chair, a flower, or a book. You can roll clay into a snake or fold paper into an airplane. But when God created the world, he did something no one else can do. He created everything out of nothing at all. He didn't build the universe with clay or wood or stone, for he hadn't made them yet. He didn't start with air or water because they had to be created too. Did you know that you were part of God's grand design? Before God placed a single star in the sky, he thought of you. He planned the color of your hair, how tall you would be, and the exact place where you would live. So, I want you to color your thumb with a marker and press it onto paper. And look how all the different lines on your fingers swirl together. Your fingerprint is unique to you. No one else in the whole world has your exact fingerprint. And God designed it especially for you. Let's look at our verse for today. It's in the book of Hebrews in the New Testament, chapter 11, verse 3. By faith, we understand that the universe, so that's everything that there is, was formed at God's command, which means God told it to happen. God told the earth to be made. So that what is seen is, was not made out of what is visible. So God didn't make things out of thing, out of anything, he taught. He spoke. He said, "Let there be animals, and let there be trees, and let there be people, and fruit, and all kinds of things." They didn't exist yet. He spoke them into being, into existing, which is pretty awesome. Go God, yay him! All right. So let's go to our next truth, and I'll pull up our verse too. Let's finish up this one first, though. Wow! Do y'all know what that is? It's an angel. And it probably doesn't look like angels you've ever seen before, like on a Christmas tree or something, because the angels that are in the Bible look a lot different than what we think they look like, and we just have to read about them and see. There's so many verses about that that we can read. All right. Did you know that God also created wonderful creatures in heaven? We can't see them now, but mighty angels, seraphim and cherubim, which are types of creatures that live in heaven, serve and worship him around his throne. God gives his angels the job of watching over his people on earth. God also uses angels to deliver messages to people. And sometimes God allows his angels to be seen, which usually frightens folks at first. But most of the time, God's angels do his work in secret. So, our verse for that reminds us that by the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. And by the breath of his mouth, all their host. So let's pull that up and read it. That's just like we just said. That God made everything there was and everything there is just because he spoke it. He didn't have tools. 
He didn't have things to make it with because they hadn't been created yet. He spoke it. And because God spoke everything into being, there it was. Go God. That's awesome. All right. Let's move on to our next one. Our next truth. God is all powerful. If it's a giraffe and a mouse. I wonder why they are there on the page. Let's find out. God is so powerful that when the time came for him to create the universe, all he used was his words. God said, let there be light. And there was light. How's that for powerful? With just a few words, God created light, heavens, earth, sun, moon, stars, oceans, plants, fish, birds, and animals. I wonder if y'all could think of something that I didn't say that God made. Lots of things. Everybody you know is loved, created by God. So yay. When God spoke, it was so. So when God said, let there be light, he didn't have to wait for the light to turn on. When he said, let the earth bring forth living creatures, he didn't have to wait for them to be born. They appeared instantly. Imagine a forest, empty one moment, and the next teeming with lions, lizards, gorillas, grasshoppers, snakes, mice, snails, butterflies, and giraffes. The Bible tells us that we can know God is real and powerful just by looking at what he created. So let's look at our verse. This is a great verse. Jeremiah 10, 12. And while you're looking for it in your Bible, that'll give me time to find it on the screen. So here it is. But God made the earth by his power. He founded the world by his wisdom and stretched out the heavens by his understanding. So God was involved in the whole process of making everything. And that's so great because we know that he is powerful and able to do that. All right, let's have one more for today. One more truth that we can think about for today, about how great God is. Oh, look, it's a kitty and some puppies. Yay! Let's find out why they're on the page. Oh, it bit around this way. Truth number five, God is in control. From the, from the grain of sand tossed by ocean waves to the stars in the far reaches of the universe, God, like the conductor of an orchestra, is at work, directing each part of his creation. Nothing moves without his command, and nothing happens outside his control. He commands every rain shower and snowfall. He tells the flower buds to bloom and the ocean waves to roll. No one, not even the angels in heaven, can stop God's work in our world. Every minute of every day, God holds the power of the universe together, just by his word. God is keeping his creation steady so that everything works according to his plan. Rocks are still hard, like God planned them to be, and the water still drops and drips, just like it was designed. While dogs come in different colors, shapes, and sizes, they've always been dogs, just as God created them. Because God is in control and rules over all, they will never turn into cats, just like cats can't become giraffes. <laughs> That's funny. It'd be very funny to think about a cat just going, <laughs> a giraffe. I'm glad that doesn't happen. That'd be weird. All right, so let's look at our verse for that one. This will be our last verse. So our verse will be in the New Testament, Colossians. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. And that's great. Remember that God is with us in everything. God is always here, and that everything is exactly the way it's supposed to be because God knows about it. Yes, that's great. All right. So that's all we'll talk about for today, but we'll start some more next week. I hope that you'll check out some other videos on our channel because you'll get to see all of our story time videos in case you're not able to see them on Facebook. You can watch them right here because I put them here every week. And I hope that we can get back together soon. I miss you guys lots.
I hope that y'all are staying safe and well and that your families are staying safe and well. And I encourage you to be the very best people you can be, knowing that God loved you and created you and wants you to be great and tell others about him. I love y'all bunches. Have a great week. Bye.